Okay, blitz match, seven minutes, zero increment. Uh, I'm going to try the computer mode, just capturing the pawn here. Let's just develop the knight. And just push this pawn here, blocking. Let's develop. Let's develop again. Let's get a bit of castling doing, king safety. And x ray through to the queen. I think that's about it. Okay, so now we're into the land of the next move is the one that will make or break the game. Knight attacking the bishop looks nice and tasty. Developing the rook. It's got this nice half open, open file, you see. So let me see. Let's just go with that. Attack, attack. Until we can't attack anymore. Let's move the bishop. Bishop protecting. Bishop can take the knight. Could attack his bishop, but obviously his knight can take. Bishop takes, run the queen. But he's got like a 2 on 1 there. Okay, we're getting closer to his king though, which is quite nice. Um, interested in this, but I feel like I'm blocking my bishop in because he just drops here. I suppose I just take. Let's do that. It's king side, it's sort of covering his king Gary, might make him panic a bit. Although there is a bit of an issue, I'm going to have to take with the bishop panther if he does. So he's not actually done anything with that, so I could push on to the bishop, elevating my pawn, or take this centre pawn out of the way because he has two linked pawns in the centre. I think it's probably better taking here, because of the two linked pawns in the centre. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So we still now have the x-ray through to the queen again. So we could in theory attack his bishop here, his knight's not going to take. Don't mind doubling the pawns, so that's okay. I'm going to attack the bishop. Does take. Oh, but the problem we've got is we go onto his queen, and then he takes our queen. I think we lose out there. Damn! I think I messed up the combination. Oh! Oh, that's sour. That's left a bitter taste in my mouth. Oh, let me see how it looks after whatever he does. And we capture. And then he captures. We've got places to capture. So is it equal? Or are they a pawn? Or what's the deal? Looks equal so far. So I think if he moves his bishop off oh, a shine on. It's going for a complicated something. Bishop comes back and attacks, does it? No, no. Not yet, not yet. Let me see, it so does capture, we capture, he puts a check on us with his rook. Oh, it does win a pawn, he's up. Knew there was something right, not right. Oh, we could come here. Oh, that's a damn shame, loss on tempo. No way of getting it back, is there? No, no. Knight comes there, knight comes there, knight comes there. Knight, round, round. Okay, come round. Still has to check on my king with his rook, so I've got to be a bit steady. Damn, pawn down. Okay, could come there, could come here. We're attacking two pawns, so let's go here. Do we get the pawn back? I'm not really going for the pawn back. I really want to improve my position. It's looking a bit shaky at the moment. Do you know, I could have let him take my knight. I could have just done then taken his bishop off the ball because his bishop's going to cause us trouble, isn't it? Oh, silly. Yeah, look, he's moved it now. Uh, let's take this pawn here. Oh, you're joking me. Am I asleep or what? Oh, dear me. Oh, that's shabby. 
<laughs> I'm not doing any calculation. I'm, I'm just going. Let's go over here. Oh, that's ridiculous. He's on to me. He's on to me. Two on. Well, he's got two on one protection. Well, he's got more pieces on the board, so he's got lots more moves to think about. So maybe try and use that logic. <laughs> oh, that's so shabby. So he's gone back defensive. Mm, okay. So we could attack his knight, but I mean, reducing down is not really. You know, I mean, I don't have a problem reducing down. I've seen the computers when they're like in a position like this, they just go for the trade downs. And I think they have that logic of, well, the less pieces I've got on the board, then it's harder for them to actually get some sort of pressure on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go with that logic. My own reverse logic. Let's just grab. Rook puts a check on our king, poor thing. Sights off here, but he's not going to allow that. And maybe, I don't know. Oh, okay. King moves. Can't go here because his bishop's protecting there, so it's a bit shabby, really. Shabby, shabby. Gonna have to push on to here, then, aren't I? He'll be looking to try and get the rook off, get an exchange going. Let's just push here. Oh, oh, he's protecting with the bishop. Like I said, he's look, gonna be looking to get the rook off. I have to take, really, don't I? But I could elevate my king up. Gonna elevate the king up. Could have taken with the pawn, actually. Uh, let's just put this onto the bishop. So the less pieces, it is a bit harder for them. They've got to work a little bit harder. We, we don't really stand a chance here, but like I've always um, sort of said, it's nice to practice these games because there's certain things. He needs to bring his king here to stop. Yeah, to stop that. And just push this up. Bishop's going crazy now. It's like going, well, what do you think we're doing? So, could go into a dark square here. This pawn's just going to go to the far side. I might as well leave that pawn right at the back. I could actually quite safely resign here because there isn't anything that I can do apart from just pushing this here. Pushing there just to block off, but that's about it. I don't have anything else. Could push the pawn up again. I'm going to run out of moves because my, like it's a Zugzwang thing. These are just going to come ramping down. I should really just resign. Mm. Yeah, there's no magic. If I go here, then that's it. Job done because I can't move that pawn. Can't move that pawn because the bishop's just going to take. Okay, just leave them on the dark squares then. And there. Yeah, and that's all she wrote, really. Could push this here if he takes, then. He's probably not going to take, though, is he? Let's just push that. And then these pawns, this is just one pawn in a sense, because if he pushes down, we take, we're blocking that pawn. And that's about it, because realistically, I can't go anywhere. If I move my king back, his king comes here, then it's going to make its way towards here. Because when I come here, then his bishop's just going to attack my king, so I'm going to be on this side. Then these pawns are just ramping down. Well played.